Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to my bathroom renovation vlog. We are currently in February and we have just started, well I say just, about two weeks ago started our bathroom renovation. So just to start from the beginning, just to give you a quick overview, we moved into this house in September 2019. So a year and a half now and actually the bathroom was one of the first things I wanted to do but as we moved in and like things took longer than I thought and the bathroom was perfectly working like it was fine absolutely fine it was just not to our taste so I think we prioritized other things if you have renovated a home before you know things take longer and things are more expensive than you always think so a year and a half later we're finally doing the bathroom but I'm really glad actually that we have waited because now I have a better understanding of how we use the bathroom and where we want things to be. Tom is going to be doing the majority of the bathroom um, but we will have other people doing a few things along the way but I will kind of let you know who is doing what just so you can kind of get an understanding of what it takes to do a bathroom renovation because I we're only just at the beginning and I have already learned so much and it's one of those jobs where things can't be done before other jobs like there's quite an order of what how it needs to go so if you're like stuck at stage two you can't move on to stage three and you could be waiting at stage two for a long time waiting for stage two to happen so we've just got past a big kind of waiting hurdle so let's bring it up to speed uh tom ordered a skip the skips outside of our house and he rips the bathroom out but I did say to him don't rip the bathroom out until you have a plumber booked in but he's very he gets really you know he just wants to get it done and fair enough so do I but I knew that this would happen so he ripped everything out and then the plumber who we were going to use couldn't do it or he couldn't do it for a long time and then we tried lots of other people and tradesmen at the moment are really busy so we couldn't get anyone for a while anyway we finally found someone who came at the weekend so the bathroom had basically been ripped out and then nothing happened to it for like 10 days so it's been sat completely empty like waiting for a plumber for about 10 days at the weekend the plumber came which was great and because we are moving the layout of the bathroom around the pipes needed moving and it does need a professional and Tom is not a plumber so that's why we wanted to get a plumber anyway he has put kind of the pipes in the correct place and now Tom can get on with it so I've already filmed what the bathroom was like before Oh, also we have had it all plastered in there as well because before it was tiled to the wall and where we took the tiles off it the wall was like really uneven so as we are tiling only halfway up um, we wanted to get it plastered so then the top half where it's painted is nice fresh smooth wall so as I'm talking now um, I'm going to put our mood board and our plans on the screen here so for our flooring tiles we've chosen the top tiles, the hexagonal mini um, mosaic tile for the floor. I'll show you in a minute, but these actually come kind of in a on like a mesh backing, so you're not having to kind of individually put each tile on. They come kind of like this big with like perhaps, I don't know how many tiles per sheet, but the tiles are only like that big. So that makes it a lot easier to lay. And then on the walls, I armed and ard and Pinterest so much on wall tiles, but in my heart I have always wanted just a really simple herringbone white tile and I kind of talked myself out of it I thought is it just a trend thing am I gonna like want to change it next year or the year after and I looked at so many tiles and I don't think now that herringbone is a trend it is a trend but I think it's a trend here to stay I really do and I don't regret our floor downstairs, I absolutely love it and I actually think it has a really nice premium clean feel to it so we're going with white herringbone tiles so 
on the wall where the shower is it will be floor to ceiling herringbone tiles but on the other walls we're only going to tile roughly halfway up and then paint the other top half i still haven't decided on the paint color it's not going to be anything too wild because i really want that bathroom to be kind of fresh and airy and light um so it's not going to be anything dark or kind of wild you know me you know the house it's very neutral so it will be a kind of neutral color but i'm not sure yet i want this bathroom to kind of feel like a hotel bathroom you know that feeling when you're in a hotel bathroom i want it to have that feeling so we have gone for matte black um taps which i am really excited for but i am being a sensible sally in my head and now i'm thinking or oh, like what's it going to be like with the line scale i think we're just going to have to keep you know just really basically to clean it regularly but we'll figure it out and it'll be okay and then the units we are having i spent such a long time looking at bathroom furniture bathroom cabinets bathroom units oh my gosh i have spent hours and hours looking i don't know what i was looking for but i was being so particular and so fussy there was nothing that i liked and then i came across this one unit and i just instantly fell in love and then i carried on looking and i was just comparing everything back to this unit so this is the unit we're going for it's an oak uh unit with a solid marble top it's absolutely beautiful and then we have got uh, like a bowl sink sitting on top so it's going to be such a gorgeous feature um and i just literally cannot wait to see it all finished and put together i know it's going to look so good so that is where we're up to those are the plans so let me show you what the bathroom is looking like now to be honest it's not looking like anything <laughs> now it just looks like a plastered room the bath is in though um so the tiling is going to happen next so let me show you okay so this is our bathroom right at this very moment so uh, the floorboards some of the floorboards were quite rotten and where they'd got wet they were just not sturdy and not strong so Tom has put a new flooring down um, and then this will be tiled over the top we are having our sink on this wall it was there so that's why all these pipes have had to be brought around here and then the waste goes out there so it's had to all kind of be connected so the taps and everything are in place now um, those pipes are for a radiator and then we're having the toilet here our bath is in, which is great. And then we have the shower in the bath. Um, this bathroom, as you can see, it, this is our main bathroom, but it's not, it's not huge. So we, we haven't got space to have a shower and bath separately. I mean, we have a shower downstairs, so we could have ditched the shower in here, but we both love to use this bathroom upstairs rather than the downstairs one. So we had to kind of go more practical than pretty on this. So we're keeping the shower within the bath um, and the pipes are in for the water on that. These are the floor tiles. So uh, as you can see, they're quite small, but this is what I mean by they're on like a mesh. So you can lay them kind of in a sheet. At the moment, it looks, that kind of gives it effect of like a really dark grout just because of the shadow. But we're going to go for quite a light grout so there won't be that kind of harsh line. It does look good with the dark grout, but I think just personally, that isn't the look that I want to go for. Um, so we're going with a light grout on that. So this is the tile I was telling you about. This is the Tops Tile Subway Tile. So you could literally lay these in any kind of pattern that you wanted to but we're gonna use these for the herringbone. So this wall, the tiles will be tiled all the way up and on this wall, but on this wall here, this wall where the sink is and this little bit here, that's only going to be halfway up. I did think about ending the herringbone tiles with kind of a zigzaggy pattern. Can you see like where the top of the tile comes in if it was sort of like that all the way around? But I think it could look a bit busy and somebody mentioned it's quite hard to get a really nice paint line in all of those zigzags. So we are just going to cut them so it's a nice straight line, just keep it really clean and simple. So that is where we are up to at the moment. As you can see, there's a lot to be done. I'm hoping it's gonna be finished in about two to three weeks. I mean, this is the reality of kind of doing it yourself. If 
if you were to have professionals do the entire thing, it could be done so much quicker. I, I think it literally could be done probably in one week or something, but as we are doing it, Tom is kind of doing it at weekends and evenings, so it takes a bit longer, but for us it's like a massive money saver for him to do it rather than paying someone else to do it. We obviously have had to pay for other trades to come in, like the plasterer and the plumber. Just to give you a kind of clearer idea of the bathroom layout, these are actually to scale sizing. So as you can see, the bathroom isn't huge. Um, oh my God, isn't this the most annoying thing ever? Let's close that down. Um, so here's the door as you walk in um, and then we will have the shower will be here with the door, the shower door here and the shower on this bit here. Got the toilet in the middle. This is the towel radiator. And then here is the unit, the sink unit. So, I mean, this could have fitted along here, but because this unit is so beautiful, um, I really wanted to make a feature of this and have it centralized with a nice mirror above it on the wall. The, this is a window here. So at, before our sink was here, so you couldn't have a mirror above it because half of the window was there. So the mirror was here and it just wasn't really working. So Hello everybody. So just bringing you in for a tile update. So all of the flooring tiles are down. They still need to be grouted um, and we're going for quite like a natural light colour. Um, so as I said to you before, um, th this is more of a contrast here where it's kind of got the shadow where there's no grout in there um, but it will be a little bit more subtle once the light grout goes in and then we have started on a wall with the herringbone tiles so this half of a wall took Tom nearly all day um, because I think he was just getting into the kind of flow of laying the tiles and also a lot of measuring and cutting needs to happen on these tiles. For example, like all the ones along the bottom need cutting, um, around all of the holes, on the walls aren't dead straight, so each little triangle at the end are different, um, different sizes. So it's quite um, intricate and lots of measuring and lots of cutting, so it does take quite a while. But now he's got this wall done, I think he'll be able to do the other a bit quicker now that he's kind of in the flow and he knows what he is doing. But, but already I'm so happy with it and it looks so good. So yeah, I'm excited. And then I just still need to get some samples for um, the top half of the wall. I've got some ideas of what colours I need to get. I just need to go and get some sample pots. Okay, so it's 10 past six and Tom has been working on this wall all day. He started this about 8.30 this morning and he has just finished. So yeah, we're getting there. We are getting there. So all of this is now done and we have tiled the windowsill. Wasn't sure how to do this. It was going to be very tricky to do it in the herringbone style. So we actually have just laid these in like a brick style, but I actually really like them like that. And then this wall, all of this wall hopefully will be done tomorrow. But as you can see, this much took all day. So I'm not sure if all of that will get done tomorrow, but hopefully it will. So we'll see. And started to grout the tiles here, but run out of grout. So these haven't been, and these have been. So we tried a gray grout and did it as like a bit of a sample. And I'm really glad we did it as a sample because I much prefer this natural light colour. Um, this all still needs like cleaning off properly. Um, but this is the grey. So it's very grey and cool toned. And this is just a little bit warmer. I'm filming this on my phone so the colours aren't grey. And also it's dark outside so I've got the lights on. But I'll show you again in natural light. But this um, grout, I'm so much happier with this grout. And I'm glad we didn't go for this one.
So Tom has been very busy, as you can see, doing all of this tiling, which, how long has this taken you, Tom, all of this? A couple of hours. This has taken a really long time, as you can see, like all the cuts and just lining it all up to getting it right really has taken a long time. Let's come over the side. So, so this is the last tile going in thought I'd document this moment. Tom's going to be very happy. Get to start grinding it now. Yeah. <laughs> On to the next bit. Never ends. It will end one day. Then look, you can have a nice bath. Final one going in. How do you feel? <laughs> Ecstatic. Ecstatic. Can't wait. Yay. Well done, Tom. Seriously, that's actually such, you're very, very patient. So the shower will be coming on this wall. Uh, and where this line has come to, that is where the shower screen will go. And where it's all plaster at the moment, there will be architrave along the top there as well. This is all, this all needs to be whitewashed before it's painted. And then the ceiling needs repainting as well. We've also just got plain white um, spots going in on the ceiling. Hello everyone. So another update. So the tiling was finished yesterday. And that is now all covered in these sort of uh, wraps um, just to protect it whilst the ceiling and the walls are going to be painted. So I've got my paint samples over here and I'm, I'm unsure. They actually are all a little bit lighter in real life. The camera is making them slightly darker. So we've got Elephant's Breath, Soft Pelican, Perbeck Stone and Skimming Stone. Soft Pelican is a Valspar colour and those three are fire and ball colours. Um, I'm drawn in real life to Perbeck Stone, this one, it is slightly lighter. I'd say it's quite a greyish colour and it does potentially have slightly green undertone. I think it's got a little bit of like khakiness to it. I think Elephant's Breath in real life is quite pinky. It's sort of like a plaster colour. Um, is, yeah, definitely got more pink undertone. And then I think Skimming Stone is, is a bit too light, I think, for this room. I really, really like that colour. Um, Soft Pelican, it's just, I'm not sure. It's a bit of an in between -y one of all of them. So I think that one's been completely ruled out. So I'm leaning towards Perbeck. As I said, it is lighter in real life. Um, but I think that will go really nicely with the tiles. So. So yeah, I need to make a decision because that's being painted tomorrow. The lights have all come out so that the ceiling can be painted. So we are finally, finally getting there. And the plumber's coming back at the weekend um, to plumb everything in. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed, this time next week, we should have a completed bathroom. Good morning, everyone. It it's early on a Saturday morning. The painting was finished last night and the plumber is coming at eight o'clock this morning. So I wanted to get in here quickly and show you before he comes. So all the tiling is finished and the painting is done. On the paint, we went for the Perbeck stone. It's a lot lighter in real life, actually. It's coming up a bit darker on the screen, but it looks really nice against the tiles. The reason why we chose this colour in the end is it had a bit of depth to it, and because we've got the light tiles, I wanted a bit of a contrast, and I think the other colours are slightly paler, um, and we've got a pale, kind of creamy colour the whole way throughout the house, so I did want something a little bit different. I'm really happy with it, it looks it's such a nice colour. Oh, here comes Bertie. Good morning! Good morning! Hello. So yeah, hopefully the plumber will be fitting the toilet, which is going to go here, the towel radiator, which is going to come up here, um, and the taps, I believe. But as you can still see, the pipes down here, this all needs boxing in still. The unit that we've got to go here has got a, uh, has got a solid marble top and holes need cutting in that for the waste pipe for the sink. So good progress is being made. I was getting my hopes up and thinking that like we were almost done, but you know, there's actually still quite a lot more to do. I think that he's fitting the shower, 
which will be really good. Um, the lights are out, obviously, where the ceiling has been painted. So we've got new white spotlights going in and an extractor going there. So yeah, it's coming on now, but still got a long way to go. Out of all of the rooms in this house, this one has sort of dragged on the longest just because there's so many different elements and you you can't do one thing before another and it's kind of a lot of waiting and getting the timings right i guess but at least yeah we are kind of on the go now so this is a big moment because look there's a lot of the things in so we've got the bath in the taps are in the shower is in uh the shower screen is in the toilet is in and working, the radiator is in and working, the taps are working, but we haven't, um, like this bowl isn't, it can't lift up with one hand, it's too heavy, but it's not, there's not a hole cut through the marble yet or anything. So I'm not going to show you that too much because I want to show you like the grand reveal. But what I have come up here to do now is, can you see, like from, can you see how like dirty the tiles are? from um, basically all the grout, it's like really dusty. And over the weekend, Tom is going to silicone like all in these kind of edges. So it all needs to be nice and clean. So that is what I am going to do now. Okay, I am done. Oh my God, I'm so hot. I'm sweaty under this jumper. It's the most exercise I've done for such a long time. My arms kill. Every single tile needed like a proper scrub and then rinse and then dry. But that's a really good job done. I think that's taken me about an hour. But that is, yeah, I'd say good job done. And now Tom can crack on tomorrow and it's just one little step closer to it being done. Sorry if it's really noisy. Tom is cutting wood outside and the washing machine is on. But this is the reality of our brushing teeth, washing face sink situation. I mean, don't judge. Like this, I literally cleaned like two days ago. But where we've been like washing paint brushes, there's paint brushes, there's toothbrush. I've got like my nice cleansers next to a bucket for tiling. You know, this this is the, the uh, fun reality. So this is why I'm so excited to get the bathroom finished so I don't have to wash my face and brush my teeth here. Just measuring where the bowl is gonna be so that we can cut the hole in the marble there. So why why are we watering it? What pouring in the hole? Yeah, just. Uh, What's it? I don't understand why. Just helps. Oh, like, God, we're gonna get soaking wet. <laughs> excited to be filming this i just love it so much and we've waited so long for this moment so i'm just so excited you know this has been long awaited it's taken quite a while but we are here we are finished these are the white subway tiles from tops tiles i will link below the exact ones that we used and we actually used the natural light grout and we used the same grout on the floor as well which i'll show you soon we went with the waterfall um, shower head, but also wanted this little extra one on here as well, because when I'm not washing my hair, it's really difficult to have a shower with just this top head. 
So we chose the one that had this extra head on. When I'm not washing my hair, I can just pull this down and just wash my body. And it's actually nice to be able to take this head off um, and use it as well. I think that looks so good with the tiles. I'm so, so pleased with that. This is from Victorian Plumbing, but I'll link everything down below. I did think about going for the shower screen that had the black kind of grid on, but because of the tiles, the tiles are already quite busy, I thought it would be best just to keep the shower screen simple. I think with the grid on as well, it might have just looked a bit too much. So we went for a very simple shower screen with just this black edging here, and then the black running along the bottom as well. For the bath panel, we chose this kind of paneling effect one. I just thought it looked really nice and just looked a little bit more, it just gave it a little bit something extra than just the plain ones, but it's still very simple detail. So all throughout the bathroom, all of the taps are black. Then these black taps are also from Victorian Plumbing. The bath rack is from H&M Home, and then I've just got some candles and bubble bath bits on there. And then up on the windowsill shelf. So we wasn't sure how to kind of run the tiles into the shelf. So what we've actually done is just laid them in like a, a brick, um, in like a brick style, but I think that works really well. Because the tiles are quite long, there would have been so many little cuts and I think it could have got a bit busy. So I'm so glad that we just kept it really simple in here and kind of just run them lengthways. And then I've just got a little woven kind of bath caddy here with just some shower bits. This is from Dunelm and I've kept all of my reusable cotton pads in there. And then we've got a little plant here. And then the toilet is also from Victorian Plumbing. So as you can see, the boxing all around, that is boxing in all the pipes because before you would have seen the sink was on this wall. So obviously all the pipes coming in and out of the sink have had to be moved around, hence um, all the boxing in to cover the pipes. But I don't actually mind it because it acts like a little shelf. So over here we've got a towel radiator on the wall. I love this because, oh my gosh, it just like warms up your towel so quickly. And then down here, I really wanted to add in some more textures because everything was quite white and black in here. So I really wanted to add some kind of neutrally tones and some natural textures. Um, we did actually have a black um, toilet roll holder, but we just couldn't like figure out where to put it. If we put it over here, it was gonna get wet. Um, and here, when you're sitting on the toilet, you can't really reach around to get it. It kind of needed to go over here, really. Obviously, the towel radiator is there. We gave up with that, and I've just got a little basket instead, which I think works just as well, really. And I actually like it sitting on that little ledge, so that actually works well. The little basket is from H&M. And then over in the corner, I've also got another H&M basket, and that is just a little bin. And then onto my favorite part of the bathroom. This really is exactly what I had in my mind when I was thinking about it. I really just wanted this sink unit to sit on the middle of the wall and have a really nice big mirror above it. And that is why we moved it from this side over there. So the color that we went for on the walls is Purbeck Stone. I absolutely love it. I think it sits so nicely with the tiles. So this large mirror up here is from Britton Bathrooms and it actually lights up as well, which is so nice for taking your makeup off in the evening. So you haven't got the kind of the bright spotlights on, you can just put that on, which is so nice. So the taps are also from Victorian Plumbing. It was tricky to figure out what distance we wanted from the bottom of the tap to the bowl. You needed obviously enough space to get your hand in there to wash them, wash your face. And also we didn't want it too high where it was going to splash everywhere. But I feel like we have got it right and I am happy with the distance on that. The bowl and the unit is from Crosswater. Once I saw this unit online, it was exactly what I had in my mind and then I kept looking around just to make sure it was definitely what I wanted and I just couldn't find anything else that made me like feel as happy as this unit did. So this unit is the 700 wide unit. The sink is also from Crosswater and this is just so satisfying. Listen to this. I just love that so much and because 
all of our doors upstairs have gold handles on and when we were first redoing all of the house we ordered gold handles for in here perhaps in hindsight would it have looked better with black handles to match everything else in here i don't know i quite like the gold it's just a little bit something different than the black in here so what we have also done is just bought the gold in on the overflow as well I just love tying in little details like that and I actually think it does make quite a big difference. This is solid marble. It's absolutely beautiful. I love the colour and kind of the veins on the marble. It's so beautiful. And, and then this is an oak unit as well. It's got two drawers in which are so, so handy for storage and just keeping everything nice and neat. So I can put everything in there and just hide it all away. I couldn't be happier with this. It, it looks amazing. It feels amazing. It feels so premium and kind of well-made and I just, I'm just so, so pleased with it. And then some little details on the basin. I've got my favorite hand wash. This is absolutely divine. It's a hand wash scrub from Declior. It smells really botanical. It's, it's so beautiful. It smells absolutely delicious. And it's got a uh, scrub in it as well. So your hands just feel so clean and amazing after. I've also got this little vase. This is from Dunelm and just put some um, eucalyptus in there. So I really wanted to add a few plants in here as well, just to add a bit more color and some texture. And I just really um, love the look of the eucalyptus there. And then on this side, we have got this little toothbrush holder that is from Dunelm. And I love this. It's like a, like a granite almost. And that matches the little pot that I showed you on the windowsill. And then coming down this side, I've added a plant in here because we had this sort of gap on this side and I thought actually it's really nice to fill it with this big plant again adding a bit of colour and some texture in as well. For the floor tiles we went with the white hexagonal mosaic. These are also from Topps Tiles and I really really love them. I think they look so good with the herringbone. Again we went with the natural light grout which is the same grout we used for the tiles as well. Grout is one of those things that I think gets overlooked so easily and often the tile is just the focus but I really think that the grout is just as important because as I said earlier we tried the grey grout and it was just too grey and I think especially with these tiles Tom spent so long tiling that if we'd have got the grout wrong I feel like it can just completely change the look of all of the tiles um, and I feel like if we'd have got it wrong it potentially could have ruined it so all of that hard work with the tiling you want to get the grout color right so I think it's really good to sample a grout if you can beforehand so this mirror is also from Breton Bathrooms and this is 80 centimeters wide it's actually a lot bigger than it looks on the camera but it lights up it changes color it's amazing let me show you so you just turn it on like this and it automatically comes on with one of the cooler light settings and then if you just hold it down it changes can you see now that's a much warmer white and then if you carry on holding it down changes back to a cooler tone it just kind of goes from a cool to a warm but in different um kind of different strengths and this is really great for me filming any makeup videos or beauty videos um because depending on what is happening with the light outside i can adjust the light in here and then some other small details on this side of the room we also went for a matte black pulley cord this is from i think this is from uh, dowsing and reynolds i will link that below as well and, and then we went for three matte black hooks on the back of the door for towels dressing gowns that kind of thing and they are from brits and bathrooms also for the towels i went for these which i love the color so much and i really love the texture of these kind of striped texture these are from dusk I spent a long time looking for towels and these came up with such a good value for money and I love Dusk for my bedding and I'm really, really pleased with those towels. 